Hi guys, welcome back to SHK Excel World. I'm Salim Hader, and today we are talking about. Hey, what do you want? I'm recording my video. Thanks for the correction. Yes, in fact, we are talking about the x factor in the net present value formula. So basically, it's the x and dv. Now, what do you want? I am better than him. So you think so? Yes. All right. Well, the only way to find out as to who is better is by demonstration. So today we will check whether X and PV can perform better than the net present value formula and if it does then the net present value formula will accept the defeat and we will continue with the X factor. So before doing this do subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon. So let us move on to the computer screen and do this exciting checkup of the X and PV formula. So guys. We are on the computer screen and this is a file which you can download from the link given below in the description and uh, this is a very simple set of data. The only thing which we want to tell you is that X and PV is far better formula than the net present value. Oh sorry. I have told you the results before the demonstration but never mind let us do it. We have the syntax. And uh, uh, we quickly go on to example 1. It has a discount rate of 10% and we have the cash flows uh, which are occurring at the end of different years. And let us quickly calculate the X and PV. Equal to X and PV plus tab and we have to give the rate and values. Oh, I forgot. Do we have to include the time zero investment cost or not? Oh my god, that was a big issue with net present value. So you always have to kick out the investment cost from the NPV formula, but this is not the case with the XNPV. You include all and everything in it. So we are including all of the cash flows in our calculation. And there's a new thing which is the date. So we have to tell the formula that these are the dates on which the cash flows, the net cash flows are going to occur. Okay, that's a new thing. We will later on see as to what is the utility. Back to close and we have the net present value which is 2269. So the first problem solved, we never have to think about what to exclude from the formula. So coming on to the example 2, you can see that the date column is empty. So why is this so? Someone might ask you that how come in a financial model you have to have the cash flows at the end of every year? This is not so in practical scenario. Sometimes you have to pay like the software subscription at the start of the year or the royalty at the start of the year. and there are other expenses like the salaries which you have to pay at the end of every month. So how come the net present value which assumes that all of the cash flows are occurring equally after every equal period. So this is not the case practically. So XNPV has a solution. We can define like our investment cost occurred at on 15th of January 2000, let's say 21. So this is an odd date. And then the first cash flow occurred after, let's say, three months. So it's 20th of March 2021. So this is not exactly three months. So next, maybe in October, 10th of October 2021. So this is so strange. And this one on 31st December and let's assume that this one occurred in on 28th February 2022. 
So, so many irregular cash flows and this is what happens in practical life. So, XNPV has a solution and can calculate the net present value of irregular cash flows. So, this is very useful. So, let us calculate it now. Let's see if it gives an error or not. XNPV then let us give the rate and the values and the dates. Oh wow, we have the net present value. So there wasn't any error. And if this was to be calculated by NPV, I wonder if there was any option for the date. There wasn't any. So NPV has so many limitations. This is one of them. So let us go back to our example 1 and see whether the XNPV formula has committed some error or not. So this was our XNPV and let us calculate the NPV because all of the cash flows are occurring after one year. So it's an equal period and equally applicable for NPV formula as well. So we can calculate the NPV by using the NPV formula equal to NPV press tab. Then we have to give the rate and now give the range of the values and remember not to include the time zero cash flows which is normally the investment amount and we have to add it outside the formula and there we have it oh the amount or the net present value formula oh the amount or the net present value for both the formulas is different so what is the difference so there is a difference of 19 rupees and if you are taking a critical investment decision just imagine that this might lead you to a wrong decision but i wonder as to why is it happening because the cash flows are occurring after equal period and uh, for xmpv it's the same but I know why it is happening. Let me demonstrate this for you. So by doing this, you will see as to what actually is happening inside the XNPV formula. For this, we have to copy the dates to a new location and XNPV takes account of the number of days for which we have to discount the cash flows. So we have to calculate the number of days. So let us first calculate the number of days in each year. So this is 19 minus 18. And then we go on to the last cash flow date. And now we calculate the cumulative days for each of the cash flows. So cumulative days so this is 0 and we can add up so this means the second cash flow has to be brought back to time 0 by 365 days and we can copy it to the last cash flow and the last cash flow has to be brought back or discounted to time 0 by 1461 days. So this is the concept of XNPV. Now is the time to calculate the discount factor. So you will see the discount factor is almost the same. But there is just one twist to it. Just wait and watch. So for the discount factor it's equal to 1 plus the interest rate remember that the interest rate is per annum so we have to have the cash flows or the duration in years so 1 plus the interest rate plus f4 power minus the cumulative days by 365 so this will convert the number of days into years because our discount factor is per annum. 
and press enter copy it to the rest of the cells change the format to four digits and now we can calculate the present value of each of the cash flows equal to the cash flow multiply by the discount factor and copy it to the rest of the cells change the format just for beautification purpose I am going to copy the format as well so let me take the sum of all of these present values and there is your X and PV so I think you haven't got the point yet so here it's a leap year 2020 is a leap year with 366 days so this one day difference is the one which is uh, making the X NPV 19 rupees lower than that of the NPV so if I change this to 365 what will happen so you have your NPV so this is the whole difference and this is how much the X NPV is accurate so you better be careful and X NPV is a must recommended for all the financial modelers because of so many factors we have discussed here. Now coming to our example 2. In our NPV video we discussed that uh, the NPV may cause some errors and some miscalculations because of let's say hidden rows, uh, very minute values in hidden cells. So let us test XNPV for that. We know that XNPV takes account of two uh, ranges or arrays. One is the values and the second one is the date. So what if, if I delete one of the date? The values are still there. Oh, it gives an error. So even if there are hidden uh, rows or hidden cells with some value, but if you haven't provided the date, then you will not get the X and PV value. Okay. What if your cash flows after the investment date have a date which is before the investment date? Some confusion? Let me tell you. So this is a cash flow and our investment date is 15 January 2021. Let's assume that this cash flow occurred before the investment date. Highly illogical, but this is a mathematical error which we want to check. And press enter. So it also gives an error. So we have demonstrated, practically checked, that X and PV formula is far better and more superior than your old NPV formula. So you should always, all of those financial modelers should always use the XNPV formula. It is more flexible, it has more variety and it is more secure. I hope you have liked the way I have demonstrated uh, the XNPV versus the NPV match and uh, hope that you will see more of such videos in future as well. Do not forget to subscribe to SHK Excel World. Till then, goodbye.